Welcome back to Keith's FIFA 18 story. My name is Ricky, and today Lincoln City are taking on Chesterfield in Chesterfield. By the way, Briggs on the on the pitch again. Uh, he's been playing in a bunch of games. He he's gone up quite a bit. We're going to talk about that a little bit today. Uh, and he's gone up quite a bit in skill, which is good for him. Uh, but the bigger news is that if Lincoln City wins this game, we will win League Two. End of discussion. I think if I'm doing my math right. So maybe not. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we. I'm pretty sure this is the. I'm pretty sure that we win this game. Uh, that's the end of it. Uh, that's the end of league. The uh, that's the end of anyone else's chance. To, I mean, we have 106 points, and um, the second place team has. Uh, 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 I mean, Green just scored, but uh, the second place team has 77 points, I think, and there's like nine or ten games left. I don't know how many games we actually have left. Maybe only nine. I don't know. It feels like we should have ten. Um, but I feel like the game is... I feel like the, the... I feel like FIFA is missing a game that we need to be playing. A match that we need to be playing. Um, nope. 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 That's a foul. No, he tripped me. You're not allowed to do that. Fine. Whatever. Stupid game. Not giving me my... Stupid red card. It's a red card. Whatever. Anyway, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting because, um, a couple of, uh, games, a couple of, uh, it's been a little while, but I think it was the last episode I mentioned that we had secured promotion or that we had won the league or something. I don't remember what I said specifically, but uh, I, I think what the news alert that I read was trying to tell me was that we had actually just secured a place in the playoffs and not um, actually won anything. And so, uh, hi, uh, guys. You can't just sit outside the box and pass it to each other if we want to actually score some goals. Really frustrating. Put it in the box. Or shoot from outside the box. One of the two. I don't care which. So, um... But one of the things that I think is interesting, and maybe it's just the way the game is programmed... But it feels like the game is programmed to favor promotion over winning the league itself if you're not in the uh, the top league. You know, so if you're not in, if you're in League 1 or League 2, as we're in League 2, or uh, in the championship, uh, winning those things isn't as important as getting promoted. Which I think is weird, because I would think that winning would be more important than promotion. Because, say, look, that was another stupid biased refs. Whatever. Golly, this game is so unfair. Um, so, uh, because, uh, like, two games ago, and the reason I know that the, uh, the first news alert that I read was poorly worded and made me think things that weren't true was because at the end of one of the games, we had some red confetti, red and white confetti fall, and I thought, oh, did we just win the league? And they were like, no, we secured promotion. I know, finally they decide to move the ball. I'm confused. I was onside. Who was offsides? Did the computer screwing up the offsides call now? That seems unfair. That seems more unfair than the fact that the refs are refusing to call blatant red card violations. Uh, so, uh, but, and I was like, what, what, so why was this confetti coming down? It was because we had secured promotion to League One from League Two, and I was like, what is going on? This doesn't make any sense. We should be only celebrating the fact that we won the league. That should be way more important than promotion. Because, promo I mean, like, four teams get promoted into League One from League Two. It's not like it's a big number. Securing promotion is not celebration time, because, lo I mean... It only would be celebration if you won the playoffs, you know, the one that, and even then, that's like, oh, we barely got promotion, you know. Uh, 
I should have called for the ball. I was thinking about it, having Keith call for the ball, but all right, it's halftime. All right, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about Briggs. Okay, sure, I meant to pass that to Boswick, but whatever. Video game, I guess you know best. With your wrong offsides calls and your... Ah, that was going to be a brilliant pass and get um, Keith an assist because that's what he really wants. Um, although, I do need a goal, so maybe I should try and score. <laughs> Keith, I think Keith needs to score like three goals in the next couple of games to appease the manager as a, I don't know, some sort of ritual sacrifice of, of goal scoring. Um, with the weird voodoo rules of this game of the of FIFA not of football cut back run across and cut back again and then shoot from outside the box but I think that may be a corner and a substitution um <laughs> good I got a little worried because one of the boards said eight and I was like why am I already getting subbed off the bat uh, off that seems early. Another substitution. That was also quick. Um, so anyway, so Briggs has been playing a lot lately. I think he's got like five or six appearances now. Um, which is really, really good. Because I think he was a 56 skill level and now he's gone up to a 60 skill level. Which actually I think makes him one of the better center backs. Because he plays uh, center. Right now I think he's right center back right center back but um so that's very good for him because he gets uh the more he plays the higher skill level gets and the higher skill level gets the more he'll play it's it's sort of like that thing where it's like the only way you can get experience is by having a job but no one will hire you because you don't have experience and of course the reason he's playing right now is solely and 100 percent uh because you know, it's late February and uh, we're going to win the league after the end of this match. You know what I mean? Like, as long as they don't score, as long as we win this game, the league, the, we win the league, you know? So we win League Two. And uh, I think that's a huge bit of pressure off and that allows, because it's just going to let him be better. Keith is a little bit worried that the reason he, uh, Briggs is getting so much playtime is because the manager is trying to going to offload him in the next transfer period. Back of the oh come on guys, I w when I pass it to you, you put it in the back of the net. Keith is a playmaker. We talked about this last time, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Keith likes to be in a position with the ball because the everyone focuses on him and he can pass it to his teammate and bam goes in um so uh but but Briggs has been I mean even he his mood just keeps getting I'm like right now according to the game he's unhappy uh that's a penalty these refs are unjustly calling no no penalty they're just letting it's because we're going to win the league, isn't it? They want to make sure that doesn't happen. I tried. He tried to get the ball back. Cool. Let them deal with their substitutions. Trying to get people off the pitch. And on the pitch. Try and eke out a goal. Oh, it doesn't matter. Because... Ginnelly just scored. Just scored. And now it's 2 0. And now that pretty much just secures. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, hang on. Oh no, it did go off his head. It almost looked like it went off the Chesterfield player's head. And guess. Oh, uh, guess what? That means that 2 2 0. Probably not going to eke out a two, uh, uh, two goals in the next five minutes. Not especially if he's going to run right into Keith. Um. So, uh, yeah, so Briggs has been happier, um, you know, playing better, getting better, 
skill level up. But Keith is worried that they're that he's trying that the manager's trying to fatten fatten him up to make him look more appealing during the uh, the transfer season, but during the next transfer window in, in, in August or whenever it is. Uh in this game. You know, trying to trying to make him look appealing to other teams to, to, to trade him off because they might get money and Briggs isn't worried about that at all because he's thinking, man, if I leave, I leave. You know, it's not a big deal. I wasn't happy for most of the season. I go somewhere else. Maybe they'll play me more, you know? All right, so uh, apparently Keith got an assist in that game that I didn't realize. At any, I, honestly, there were two goals, and I didn't realize he got an assist. It must have been on uh, Green's goal, but I, it just didn't seem like it was an assist. It sure felt like it wasn't an assist, but whatever. That's actually good news because that's what Keith wants is assists, not goals at this point. I believe, I believe that Lincoln City just won League 2. But this has been Keith's FIFA 18 story. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more FIFA 18.